Hey, Steve Zucker, welcome back to Poke Suit Channel on the Guitar Letters System. Um, today's theme is kind of similar to what I've been doing for a while, which is really improv improvisational skills are the key to tremendous growth. I first heard this from Joe Pass when I studied from him when I was about 22. I'm 66 now. I'll be 67 next month. You know, you, you just can't put musical growth into a cute little category, so if you think too much, recently had somebody talking to me about maybe buying my guitar ladder system, which you can order at stevesatguitars.com, and uh, you do not need to be a member of PayPal to order it, but people, some people have trouble understanding that you can't put everything into a cute little box. Now, there are systems of improvisation which can be helpful, but when you're actually improvising, you kind of need to just let go and let it happen, but you need to input good information into your subconscious mind so you begin to learn about the 10 different systems of improvisation and that's what that's what my 100 studies in the guitar ladder system do for you um, so it's really important that you input good information and then it's also important that every day you improvise a little bit so i'm going to just briefly talk about uh, uh, and, and even great composers like john mclaughlin says you know any chord can follow any chord i mean you know, diatonic harmony and modal harmony only goes so far. It's all, all about breaking rules. It's all about tension and resolution, chord families, creating color, learning how chords can be put together to create moods, create different, you know, there, there's a there's a color, there's a tension, there's a style, there's a, um, an inference, you know, when chords change, you know, they create a, a whole mood of, of of, you know tonality so so I'm gonna so one of the things that's really important is every day you should improvise just sit down with the guitar warm up a little bit and improvise for you know uh, a couple minutes and just you know and now if you get stuck and you're improvising this is one area where the left brain can come in handy if you get stuck improvising you can ask yourself one of these ten different things here I'm putting on my list but that's why the guitar ladder system is so important because the studies uh, in the guitar ladder system uh, will teach you about smooth voice leading and you know chord families and how to put chords together. And every time you do a study, you know your subconscious mind records it, and uh, eventually it's going to compare and contrast all the different studies. You know, so it's important. But anyway, okay, so. My point being that if you're always left brain, because like I've, I've had people buy my guitar ladder system that were just really left brain, like an engineer or something, they were stuck on that, and, and uh, they overanalyzed things, and some of them sent me CDs, and a lot of the music was really, really stiff sounding. You know, you want to learn a lot about music and then just forget all the shit and just play and let the ideas come out, but the ideas won't come out if you don't input great information. So, okay, so this this might seem a little simple, but when you're every day improvise, for you know a couple minutes two or three minutes and if you get stuck you can always try one of these and the important thing is, is not to get judgmental about it like don't say to yourself oh that, you know, I don't sound very good that, that sends your subconscious mind the wrong information you want to not be so results oriented but just improvise and see where you can go quarterly speaking you can do it single notes too but the tremendous growth is with course so so the first one would be chromatic <laughs> So if you're improvising and you're stuck, you can always go chromatic. Intervallic, moving chords and intervals, like for instance, if I move major sevenths in perfect force, which is one of my cycles in the guitar letter system, moving, uh, you know, and it could be any interval. It can be, you know, a minor third, a perfect fourth, a perfect fifth, you know, a six, a flat seven, a flat five, whatever. Here is, is force. <laughs> See, here's G major 7, up 4th, 1, 2, 3, 4 to C, up 4. So that, that's moving chords in perfect 4. So if you're improvising and you got stuck and you weren't sure where to go, you could always just stop on any root note, 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's say you're on this chord, or this, whatever it might be, you just go up 1, 2, 3, 4, and then build a chord off that note. So, per, so inner valley. And all these different systems of improvisation kind of bleed into into each other. And again, if you're always, Joe Pass used to say to me and to others, you know, if you're always thinking about what you're playing, you know, you're, you're in the wrong headspace, as, as uh, you know, Steve Howe would say. So that's, you know, intervallic. It, it could be a flat five, like if I go one, two, three, four, five. So okay. it's got a 
nice modern sound, right? It's flat five. Uh, modal, I kind of look at modal like diatonic. I mean, a mode is, I think people get so confused about modes. It's just a major scale sound or a major sound, you know, major scale color with the half steps in a different place. So it's no big deal. But obviously like, you know, and, and you can break rules. That's the whole point of it, you know? Like I might do a one, six, two, five in the key of G. Okay, so one is G major seven, six minor seven, two, minor seven. And then I might, to make it interesting, do a flat five sub, which is, a flat five is another one of the 10 improvisational system. One, two, three, four, five. So as opposed to playing E, I'll do a B flat, so. Right, and then go to the two, into the five. So, flat five sub. Now I could come down, just keep that dominant 13 going down to the major seven. I can do an inversion for the one chord. I could do a flat five sub for the two chord. And a flat five sub, you know, for the um, five chord. So, you know, kind of combining these different systems is where it gets interesting, you know. But again, you know, it's, it's not something where you, if you're thinking too much, you're not going to come up with great improvisational ideas. And, and again, my best example is Eric Johnson. He did his homework. He studied many different styles. Myself, I studied flamenco. I, I studied concert level classical. I got real heavy into jazz. I studied fusion, you know, all these different. I, but it's better if you don't marry a genre. If you marry a genre, it's going to limit yourself. Common tone's a really good one. Take one note and build around it. See that one note keeps. And then at some point, I'll go to something else. You see the point there, okay? Polychords is a good one. In other words, those are, you know, polychords are scale tone thirds away. So, and it's good to record the first chord and then play the, the, the polychord over it to hear that harmony. So you would play these notes and then you up a scale tone third in the key of G. So you have that here. So this, the polychord for the G major seven is the B minor nine. So you play this chord, maybe record it on something. And then play the polychord over. So when you're improvising, if you're on a chord, you're not sure where to go. Go a scale tone third away and make every voice of the chord a scale tone third away. Okay. And polychords is, is again, it's the combination of all these things, which is, which really makes it very musical. But you, that's why the, the hundred studies are, depending on if you get the, if you get the 149 when it's a hundred, if you get the, the 199, it's, it's, I think it's around 200. I don't, I don't send all this information at once. But it's really important to input good information and, and, you know, the different studies use all these different systems, but they combine them so that you, your subconscious mind learns how to kind of compare and contrast and learn how to, how to create different musical tension and what I call harmonic implications and stylistic articulations for these different systems. Now symmetry, there's, there, you know, it just means balance, but there's, there's different definitions. But to, in my mind, it's like doing something and then moving it uh, to a different location, the same idea. So I'm taking the same kind of I idea and moving it. So, um, and that can be anything, you know, like, I I'm not warmed up at all. I know it's just hard for me to always have time to warm up. Same idea, just move it to a different location. So I'm taking, you know, three or four chords, putting them together and then moving in a different location. Um, smooth, smooth voice leading is a good example of study one, because see how you have the common tones, which connect the, the major seven and the diminished seven. So you have those common tones and, and uh, small interval skips. That's called smooth voice leading. That makes it sound more musical. So when you when you're doing chords and you have small interval skips and it's just, it sounds smooth, it sounds musical, and um, so that that's one way you can look at it as well. Um, I think I have one more on my list here I haven't discussed. 
And again, it's it's the best way. I mean, you 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 don't know what it's like to jump into a a swimming pool of water until you jump into a swimming pool of water. That's why it's so important to do my studies in the guitar ladder system. But some people seem to get a little confused by my Laka definition. There's a reason for it. It's not because I'm lazy, okay? But again, everything's a paradox when when you start trying to define things, especially something as complicated as art and art development. It becomes a paradox. There's a time when the structure is important. But there's also a time like when you just do my guitar ladder system studies where you, you don't think. And if you think, it's going to slow you down, your pro, slow down your progress. But when you're improvising, like I said, every day improvise a couple times for a couple minutes and you get stuck, then you can use one of these, one of these uh, 10 different systems. So uh, secondary dominant, like as opposed to maybe um, going to a dominant chord, I go to the five of the five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so, and again, all this stuff bleeds into itself. It becomes, you know, like I said, John McLaughlin said, any chord can follow any chord. Uh, but it's about it's about chord families, you know, like dominant connects dominant, dominant connects dominant connects dominant connects by chord. Okay. Um, but it's just, it just goes on infinite, you know? Dominant connects dominant. And then go to major 13, flat 5, dominant 13, 13, flat 9. It's one of my favorite chords is the major 13, flat 5. We look at it in C. It's got the flat 5 here, right? And then if you do it this form, the flat 5 is here. Those two chords, see now I could do the same thing, dominant 13, 9 connects 13, and then go to the major 13, flat 9, uh, thir major 13, flat 5. See, it has a nice color, or maybe major 13, flat 5, and then back to the dominant. 13, flat 9, 4 chord, 13, flat 9. It's all about, you know, if, if, if you just play the same stuff you're always playing, you're not going to make much progress. That's why the guitar ladder system is so important. You can order it at stevesatguitars.com. Um, 199, it's around 200 studies. I don't send it all at once. If you want the, the 100 studies for 149, you need to send me an email. I'll send you a PayPal invoice. I haven't put the button on there yet. But again, like every day, sit down and improvise for a couple minutes. Here's 13, to, but now see when I improvise, I'm not sitting there thinking 13, 9, 13, 13, flat 9, major 7, 7 sharp 5, sharp 9, 13, minor 7, major 9, 6 with a 7 on top, dry chord, but, and it's hard for me to, to it's, it's a little tricky to improvise and talk at the same time about what you're doing because it's a flow state. Music and creating music and improvisation is a flow state, but that's why it's so important to input the information into your subconscious mind. Recently had a guy interested in the guitar ladder system, but he could only start at about $49. And I was trying to explain to him a little bit about it. But, um, you know, I think it's difficult for people to, to understand that I think some people are looking for a bunch of stuff in a, in a cute little box and an explanation. And it's just, you know, if somebody if somebody can explain everything and put everything in a cute little box, it, they don't really get it because it's not that simple. But the, the best I can do is to say that, you know, you're going to learn the 10 different systems of improvisation and they're mixed up in my different studies in the guitar letter system and that the huge growth in playing guitar comes from chordal work and from improvisational skills and you should sit down and improvise every day. And uh, like I said, if you get stuck, you can use these different these different uh, tools, chromatic, intervallic, modal, diatonic, flat five sub, common tone, polychords, symmetry, secondary dominant, smooth voice leading. And it's it's about it's about chord families like like major thirteen connects major thirteen connects thirteen nine thirteen thirteen flat nine major seven seven sharp five sharp nine thirteen seven sharp five sharp nine come down diminish thirteen actually nine chord flat nine it's just the more you improvise
obviously did some chromatic stuff there. But, you know, music is kind of a mystical thing. So, you know, if you're always thinking, if you're always putting it in a box, I mean, diatonic harmony only goes so far unless you're J.S. Bach, you know. But you, you, you need to just improvise every day. And so anyway, if you really want to make a lot of progress, order the guitar ladder system, best one ninety nine you'll ever spend. If you want the 100, the 100 studies for one forty nine, send me an email. SteveZook7 at Yahoo.com. That's S-T-E-V-E-Z-O-O-K, the number seven, not spelled out at Yahoo.com. I'll send you a PayPal invoice. But yeah, you, you need to um, you need to kind of let go, but you need a little structure. That's why doing the different different uh, studies in my guitar ladder system, most of them are chordal. That's where the huge growth is. Even Joe Pass said that. You know, if you really want to grow musically speaking, you need to experience the different uh, ways that you create color, tension, and resolution through through chordal work. And, and my different studies do that. You know, some of the studies are inter, you know kind of intervallic, but they, they like I said, they combine the different systems of improvisation. You know, whether it's you know, you know, whether it's um, you know, partials. need to improvise if you're always playing the same thing you're not going to have the growth but the growth that can happen from the guitar ladder system is is it this is going to sound really corny it's almost supernatural i've had students i've had students in a year progress which should have taken them seven or eight years and a lot of them didn't even have a lot of natural talent but the guitar ladder system kind of brings out the talent within your subconscious i think it actually feeds the sub subconscious musical mind so you know when you start exposing yourself to this information, it's going to wake up that part of your mind. Um, it really works. So if you want to order the guitar ladder system, just go to stevezookguitars.com, $199. It can give you, I can give you, you know, as much time as you need. It's better if you don't rush, you know. And if you want the hundred and forty-nine dollar for a hundred, uh, a hundred studies, just send me an email to stevezook7 at yahoo.com. That's S-T-E-V-E-Z-O-O-K. -E -E -O the number seven, not spelled out at yahoo.com. This is an Oscar Smith, by the way. This is this is a this is a rare one because it's got a it's got a one piece back. There's no seam, and it's also got a one piece top. It really. I, I, in fact, I did a, a, a video the other day, and I barely had my amp on, and it was had some dis distortion because this guitar just has so much uh, bottom end, bass, and mid bass. It's very, uh, very. I hardly have any volume on it, right? Folks, take care. If you really want to grow, invest the 199 or the 149 in the guitar ladder system. Like I said, uh, it's a it's a matter of inputting information into your subconscious mind. You don't need to overthink it, but everything's a paradox, especially when you talk about art. If you really want to um, grow as a musician, do a little improvisation every day quarterly. And if you get stuck and you're not sure where to go, you can use these different systems, chromatic, intervallic, modal, diatonic, flat five sub, common tone, polychords, um, symmetry, secondary dominant, smooth voice leading. Um, but then, you know, when you're, um, you need to practice improvisation, but you also need to practice, you know, where you might use these different systems if you get stuck, but then you need to do it again also when you don't think about anything so that you're, but that's where the guitar ladder system comes in. You start inputting the right information. It's, it's just going to, your musical ear is just going to start waking up and, and you'll just start coming up with things that will sound more musical and real creative. And, you know, you'll kind of begin to discover your own, you know, harmonic point of view. It takes a little time, but that's where it's important to, to combine these different elements. So you combine my studies in the guitar ladder system, which combine all these different 10 systems of improvisation 
Uh, you practice you practice improvising every day, and if you get stuck, use these systems, and you'll you'll have some tremendous growth. All right, folks, take care. I got to go to the gym and work out. All right, that's all. Stay positive.